high production grinding on small parts and have no idea how much to dress. Is there any way we can measure wheel wear and determine how much to dress? About 10 years ago, I started using what I call the no dress test, and I found that it works wonders in determining how much to dress. Typically, machine operators always dress too much because they don't really know how much to dress. It's hard to know, especially if you're doing a lot of different sizes. So they always err on the side of safety, and they dress maybe double the amount of wheel wear, or five times, or 10 times, or 40 times the amount of wheel wear they're getting. So the no dress test is a very simple way of measuring wheel wear. Here's how it works. Typically, in a production grinding operation, you dress the wheel, you grind apart, 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 or something along those lines. In the no dress test, what you do is you dress the wheel and you grind apart, just like normal, and then you turn off the dresser and you grind one, two, three, four, five, maybe 10 or 20 parts without dressing. When you do that, your part dimension starts to change. It'll start to grow. Our wheel is wearing away. Our part is growing. The next step is to plot the part dimension versus the part number. And we get something that looks like this. So what we see is as we continue on the no dress test, the wheel starts to wear away. So therefore, the part dimension starts to grow. Then we'll fit a line through those points and figure out what's the average wheel wear per part. We'll look at the average wheel wear per part and we'll compare that to the amount we're actually dressing per part. The ratio of these two is what I call the safety factor. So in this case, our wheel wear is about two microns per part and in this case they were dressing about 15 microns per part. So they had a safety factor of about seven and a half. That might be a little bit on the high side, but it's not drastically unreasonable. I've been to companies where I've seen people use safety factors of 50, where they're dressing 50 times as much as their wheel wear. So how much is a good safety factor? It's tough to say, two, three, four, something around there. You always want to dress more than your wheel wear, so you want to have some safety factor, but what the no dress test will tell you is, ah, look at that, I have a safety factor of 50. I think we're dressing a little bit too much. Why don't we cut that back? And instead of having a safety factor of 50, let's have a safety factor of four, five, 10, whatever, but something where we're not dressing huge amounts of, off the wheel that we don't need to dress.